Okay, everything is ready here. I'm going to start with the uh, corn and butter going in there. Nice warm butter and corn. Uh, then I'm going to put, oh, here we go, with the uh, nice, nicely chopped onions. There they go in there. Very nicely. Excuse my fingers. So we go on. Um, and then we're going to do our squash, the Mexican uh, zucchini, and some yellow coconut squash. And yummy, there goes that. Uh, green chili. <laughs> you can't have calabacitas without some green chili. I'm going to put like uh, these are tablespoons. I'm going to put, oh gosh, I don't want three tablespoons, but I six because these are. Oh, but those are heat banks, though. Mm. More the merrier. Fresh oregano. Here we go. Fresh oregano from my farm stand in the back. I'm just putting it in just like that. And then we have garlic and herbs. Season it. Put that in there. Ooh. I wanted to put a tablespoon. That's a half a tablespoon more. There's a tablespoon. And then everything bagel. I've got to use this for almost everything. It's my secret ingredient. People say, what the hell's in that? That's so good. Well, mm, I can't tell you unless you book a party with me. So here we go. Calabacitas. I'm going to mix this up and then we're going to sous vide it. We're going to put it in this nice orange bag for uh, about an hour and a half at 180 degrees. And then uh, it's going to be ready by the time my uh, carne adobada casserole is ready, uh, which I'm going to uh, serve over raviolis. We're going to just mix it up today. They're like Italian and Mexican. We're going to go with it all. Bueno, bye. It's all stirred up nicely and ready for the bag. So I'm going to get the air out of this bag so it doesn't float in the bath water. I like to sous vide vegetables because they uh, will get to a certain temperature and won't overcook so they don't get mushy and they keep their color nice. Uh, they're like al dente and really good and beautiful and tasty, very healthy um, and never overcooked. I'm doing this for an hour and a half. That's more than enough to get all this stuff up to 180 degrees, which is beyond safe level, and plenty hot for me. Add time. Yay! Put that there for a minute. And I'm gonna put you in here, nice and sealed up. Make sure you don't float. Get below the water. Put you back over. Ta-da!